All right. Now, um, we're going to do some, some nuts and bolts of, of perspective, some tricks that um, don't always get explained immediately, but I think they're really useful to know immediately at the beginning. That way you can begin to um, represent uh, objects in the world around you much more efficiently and accurately. Um, so let's start off again. We're going to start off with our horizon line, which we've already gone over. The line that uh, suggests deep, deep space. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place a point. We're only going to deal with uh, with a single point perspective right now, and within one plane. So we're going to draw the far edge of our plane right here. I'll draw this nice and big so you can see it. Okay, we're going to make it proceed into space by drawing to or from the vanishing point over to this line. Make sure it intersects nicely. Then we're going to pick any line to suggest the space is receding. Now, um, what happens if you want to find the center of this plane? Um, because it's receding in space, it's not a, a mathematical division exactly halfway between these two lines, right? Um, because it's receding in space, this half is going to seem slightly larger than this half. The simplest way to do this is to draw from corner to corner of this plane. So we're going to make an X through the middle of the plane, and that's going to find our center point, right? So we're going to go from point to point, just like that. Remember, just stay loose with it. You don't have to be too perfect for now. Just understand how and why this works. Okay. So now, this point right here will suggest a center line. So if we draw a vertical line parallel to our other vertical lines, we have now subdivided this plane and we found its visual center. Right. So if you want to center something, on this plane, we've just done it. Works out perfectly. Now, you can, uh, if you need to subdivide and find another, uh, a different center, say you wanted to find all the quarters, you'll just treat that exactly the same way. So if we wanted to take this half of the plane and divide that in half, we'll take these points corner to corner and do the exact same thing. I'll show you how that works exactly the same way. So if you're drawing like a long a long building or a hallway where there are lots of uh, subdivisions of the hallway, lots of doors or something, you're going to want to be able to, to do this. All right. Now if we do this again for this for, our, for this point over here, we're going to find our uh, subdivisions are getting exponentially smaller. And if we were, we were to further and further subdivide, they would continue to get exponentially smaller. So we found all quarters of it, of this original plane. So that's a simple way, simple trick you want to uh, keep in your back pocket. And the other thing, too, is this works in... Um, both one and two point perspective. Eventually we're going to get to putting a grid on the ground and uh, and projecting objects up from this grid. 